Hello, beautiful people. Here I am again. <laughs> this is Amy. So I'm on to my third uh, vlog, and it's about the Trakostian Castle. It's one of the famous castles here in Croatia. And uh, if you want to subscribe, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, go back on the <laughs> like all the videos that I post and of course comment your love okay enjoy watching bye bye Trukostian was mentioned for the first time in 1334 the first known owners of Trukostian were the Counts of Selsky who also ruled over the entire Segoria Principality when the family died out Trukostian shared the fate of their other estates and towns passing from one owner to another and breaking up into smaller estates and holdings Trukostian first passed into the possession of Jan Vitovich and then it was taken over by Ivanish Korvin who presented it to his deputy Ban Ivan Yugley. His family held Trakostian for three generations and the estate was taken over by royal treasury. The king granted the estate to Cardinal and Croatian Ban Ure Draskovic for his personal use and as hereditary property. Thus, in 1584, the Draskovic family gained possession of Trakostian. During the 18th century, the castle was largely neglected and in the first half of the 19th century, the family again took interest in the castle. But now the castle reflected the spirit of the new age, a romantic return to nature and family traditions. At this time, the castle was restored and turned into a residential dwelling modeled on German romantic castles. The same romantic features can be observed in the restored park and artificial lake. So we arrived here at Trakostian Castle. I think this is the way. But let me just show you around. Oh god! So. <laughs> and Sire Kasi Wolong Tang Kasa Lubon. Ha ha! So I think this is it. Yeah. And uh I'm going there. Have the restaurant here. Okay. There are two stories about the origin of Trakostian. According to the first, one name derives from Trachean Citadel, which has existed during the Roman Empire, while the other sources indicate that Trakostian is in connection with German knights Drakenstein, who were here in early Middle Age. Drakenstein, not Frankenstein. Sorry, ang corny lang. Ha ha. <laughs> Marikina, pero sa Ria ka kasi si boyfriend eh. Ah, okay. That's why. Oh, nice to see you. Ingat ka rin. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> I know. The castle itself reveals different phases of building. For several centuries, it used to be a fortification so that the reconstructions undertaken during that period were functional rather than aesthetic. The facility's essential core is a Romanesque fortification consisting of a housing unit, a small fortified yard, and a massive high tower. The fortification's good location and its observation tower made it safe and easy to defend. So this is just one of the viewpoints here at Tracosin. Oh my gosh, look at the view!
Okay, so this is the end of the Dracostian castle tour. I'm allowed to uh, take photos and videos. This is what's outside of the castle. Very beautiful. <laughs> There. That's the castle. And Poet Ulit Lang Sinabi Koso muted na. Ha ha! Sayo lang. Wala tapos sa mukha kong masaya ako. Hindi ko lang mag-vlog. Panindigang ko. I'm talking to myself on video. This is why. I know. Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah. <laughs> Outside of the Trakostian castle. I'm going to go to the Trakostian castle. So. This is a good spot. Uhug na ako. <laughs> oh my gosh. Saya saya. First time ko girl. Char. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm smoking. Ganda-ganda sa Croatia! Ah! Mas kalar din siya itong ka! Naniniga! So, that's the road. Nakakawit din, no? Kasi wala akong ano. Wala akong stick.
hope you guys liked um, the place, the Trocostrian Castle. And um, again, I'm reminding everybody to uh, please subscribe and like all the videos again in a month. <laughs> And share if you can share it to your friends. Oh, kahit sa mga pusa, aso, kalabaw, kahit sa mga daga sa bahay nyo. <laughs> I-share nyo na din. Yun lang. And um, hanggang sa susunod ulit na uh, video natin. <laughs>